In this video, I'll show you how to fix a black screen on your Roku TV. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. If your Roku TV has a black screen or maybe it's flickering, then let's get in some fixes. Now these fixes will vary a little bit depending if it's got a completely black screen or it's flickering, but I'll explain what each one is doing so you can choose if you want to try it or not. So if your TV has got a completely black screen, then the first thing I recommend doing is try turning it on at the TV itself because it may be a problem with your remote not working. So for example, on my TV here, there's a power button just below and sort of behind the logo, but some people's may be on the right hand side or on the left. So in this case, my power button is just here. So I'll go and tap it like so. And as you can see, the TV then turns on. So if you've got a completely black screen, it's worth pressing on the button. If after that, your screen is still flickering or you're getting some sort of problem, then don't worry, let's try another restart method. And that's actually using the remote itself. And this combination of keys has to be done all consecutively quite quickly. So what we need to do is press the home button five times, and then you go and press the up arrow once, you then press the rewind button twice, this one here, and then the fast forward twice as well. So let's do this now. I'm gonna press the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up arrow once, uh, rewind twice, and then fast forward twice like that. And as you can see, it's now doing all this sort of random stuff, and the restart process is going to go and start. Don't do anything. Your TV may seem that it's gone unfrozen, but yeah, just don't touch anything and just wait. Your TV is gonna go and restart itself. Your TV may go and restart or reboot a couple of times as well, so do just be patient with it. And if things still aren't working and your screen is black or it's flickering, then it may be worth getting in contact with your TV's manufacturer. So Roku TV is gonna be installed in different brands of TVs. So in this case, I have a Hisense TV, so I'd probably get in contact with uh, Hisense. And also at the start of the video, if you found that just pressing the power button on your TV got it working, then as I said, it probably means it's a problem with your remote. So what I recommend doing is coming on to remote like so, and we can go and change the batteries by just sliding the top part off like this, and then you can go and get some new batteries for it and make sure they're in the right way as well. And hopefully that will have gone and fixed your problem. If it did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.